CBS News political director and Face the Nation moderator, John Dickerson, is in Washington. John, good morning. Good morning, Charlie. Following up on Giuliano's report, does this have any impact on the campaign? The Lewandowski yes. uh, uh, business? Well, we've seen this before. What's, what's happened is that Trump supporters rally around him. They see his response as proof of what they like about him. But we've also seen something else, which is that in the general election, when you look at his numbers, both among women but then the, the larger public, his numbers are toxic in terms of his unfavorability rating. So it may not matter with his supporters at the moment, but it does collect and, and cause a problem for him. One other thing I'd say is when I talk to Republican lawmakers, it's the Trump campaign is one constant diet of unpredictability and drama. And they think about what's this going to look like in the general election where he's hurting maybe not just his brand, but the entire Republican brand. I mean, it's possible he's driving away more voters than he's adding to in a general yeah. election context. Well, that's right. We've seen that certainly with his numbers. When you look at his numbers, particularly with women voters, he is in historic territory in terms of how unfavorable their view is of him. What do you make of all three Republican candidates now blocking, backing away from, from the pledge that we will support the eventual nominee? All of them are saying, uh, maybe yeah. not. Well, Donald Trump, and this is where he's just stronger than his opponents. I mean, he's saying, uh, he's more forceful in what he's saying. John Kasich and Ted Cruz are sort of averting their eyes from the pledge. They're not exactly saying what some of their supporters and others have said, which is, if you say all of these things about Donald Trump and how terrible he is and how bad he'd be for the party and how he's not a conservative, then why are you still pledged to support him if he becomes the nominee? And they, they sort of stood back from that pledge a little, but they didn't really break from it. Does that change things, John, then, this idea of a contested convention? Does it change things come that time if this sort of stands? Well, if they go into a, if Kasich and Cruz go into the convention uh, trying to take those delegates away from Donald Trump, uh, you know, the pledge will kind of be a sideshow. Uh, and so I think it's still basically their job is to take is to make sure he doesn't get those delegates. And that's why the, uh, the primary in Wisconsin on the 5th is so crucial to see how all of this drama that's, that's taken place is really going to actually affect the, uh, the delegates themselves as they vote, as they get assigned to these candidates. Thanks, John. Thank you, John Dickerson. Thanks.